Kansas City. How about those Chiefs? Hey, how about those Chiefs? <laughs> oh, man. It is Super Bowl Monday, ladies and gentlemen. It is freezing ass cold. Cold front has kicked in. Snow's coming tomorrow, as always. But I don't give a crap because guess what? My Kansas City Chiefs are Super Bowl champions. Uh, guys, I'm just I'm, a, I'm elated with words right now because it's still it's still setting in. I still cannot believe my hometown team finally did it after 50 years. Super four, Super Bowl four to Super Bowl 54 took them, but they got the job done in well in about typical cheese fashion yesterday too. Let's wait until the very end. Oh, I can't believe it! I can't believe it now. <laughs> This, this mobile vlog here, I'm going to be very honest with you, has not much to do with motorcycles at all. This is me celebrating something historic in my lifetime. I can't remember too many times in my life where I had just this much overwhelming joy where I can't even express in words. Obviously getting married, obviously having my son, <laughs> and... Yeah. This, this is up there with buying the motorcycle, though, as far as my happiness goes. I mean, this is just unreal. I'm not listening to you. You're crazy. The feeling of pride that, that, that comes along with it. I know I'm not a player. I know I'm not you know, one of the team teammates, but, man, I have suffered with them side by side for 32 years. I'm 37, if that tells you anything. So, since I was five years old, I had followed this team. And for 32 years, every single year has ended in a disappointment. I mean, I remember being five years old, I think Steve DeBerg was the quarterback at the time. Who's Steve DeBerg? Uh, whatever. Ten years old. Joe Montana comes to the Kansas City Chiefs in his, I think, second or third year, it might have been his third year, his last year, he takes us to the AFC Championship. I'm like, yes, I am going to see this Super Bowl, only to get slaughtered by the Buffalo Bills and for them to go on and lose four consecutive Super Bowls themselves. Come on. <laughs> Anywho, I mean, there's just been so much turmoil and disappointment that I've gone through with this team, but... I love the team. That's, you know, you, it's kind of like a family member. You don't, you never give up on them. And, and to say that's the case, that's the, some of the games that I remember watching personally, the Joe Montana game, oh, that was just painful to watch. He gets hurt. Randy Hansen comes from one side, flushes him. Oh, the three of them hit him. He just knew that Joe Magic was maybe finally completely dissipated. Other games that I remember seeing, the Lynn Elliott game where he misses three field goals and we lose 13 to 10. There's other games I can think of as well, which, you know, it's... We, we blew a 28-point lead, I think, to the Indianapolis Colts a few years ago. Already two touchdowns for Brown. And they get it to him again. Oh, he fumbles the ball, and luck is there to pick it up and go over the goal line. We had Marcus Mariota throw a touchdown pass to himself. It's an eligible receiver. It is a touchdown. <laughs> Very close. We found ways to lose every single year. But not this year, because you know why? We had Patrick Mahomes. Second and ten as that Tennessee defense drops back. As long as try to make a diving and tip that Mahomes who tipped those inside the ten. Still not down. Oh, what a run out of this world. Touchdown, Kansas City. 
And that dude, I mean, even if you're not a fan of the Chiefs, you got to give that guy some props or props or do. He has been no nothing less than incredible. Now, he might not be incredible for four quarters, but he'll always give you one good quarter, and that's usually all it takes to beat you. The throw behind the receiver hill. 12 seconds later. Sherman. Mahomes throws, pass, caught, Williams, touchdown, Kansas City. A few moments later. Look what happened yesterday. Down 20 to 10 with seven minutes to go. And you win by 10 points the other way. You flip it. You won by 11 points after being down with 10 with seven minutes to go. It's incredible. Just incredible. Oh, man. It's just... Ah, I can't. I can't. Ah, I don't know. Um, just the words, again. I could talk about it, and then, and then the emotion escapes me. I mean, I, I'm a grown man. I cried yesterday a little bit. No, I, I wasn't bawling my eyes out, but no. I shared the moment with with dad, and let me tell you, it was, it was just a moment I will remember for the rest of my life. When we got that last interception to seal the deal, it was over, and. I don't know, I, my voice is a little hoarse because of it as well. Well worth the price of admission. <laughs> now, everyone in my family kind of did their, their own little thing to make sure that the Chiefs won. So, my wife, God bless her, she walked the stairs during the last quarter of the game. Because every time she was on the stairs, something good was happening for the Chiefs. So she probably did 20 flights of stairs just going up and down. And it worked. It worked. So that's superstition number one. Superstition number two. Look at this guy. Look at this Schrodel. I've had him since 1992. He was a quote-unquote good luck troll. And if you watch this video right here, you will see I completely throw away that troll. I threw away the curse. Here's the score. The trolls' days are numbered. <laughs> trolls' days are numbered. <laughs> Take that, troll. Take that. Threw him outside. Guess what? He'd been sitting under snow for the last four weeks. We thought we had broken the curse with that. But then we're down 20 to 10 in the fourth quarter. Dad goes outside with the baseball bat and beats the living crap out of that troll doll. Guess what? I think that was the final straw of the curse. Because that's when Mahomes Magic took back over. And ladies and gentlemen, we became Super Bowl champions. Look at this battered and bruised troll. And that is the true emotion of how we have felt the last 32 years. We have finally done it. Oh, okay. So, again, sorry this is not much of a motorcycle vlog. This is just me sharing my life. I want to have the channel be more than just motorcycles. I would love to have you become part of my family along the way. And... I can't think of a better idea or a better event in my life that has occurred since I started this channel than to share this with you and that's how we started off. So, oh, chills. Ooh, maybe it's chills from this wind. Man, man. My wife and I this morning we rode to a coffee house in downtown Kansas City to kind of celebrate the Chiefs victory. It was 65 degrees. It was windy, but it was 65 degrees when we started. We got home, it was probably in the mid 50s, and it is in the upper 30s now. Strong wind out of the north, but wow, I don't even care. Just talking about this warms my heart, it warms my soul. Oh. It almost like re-motivates you to do things 
that you may have kind of slacked off in a, as well sometimes. So, you know, whatever it takes for you to, to grab that and re-motivate you in life, cherish it. Hey, I'm not the only frozen one. <laughs> he was too cold to wave. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut this one here because it is cold as bezels. Don't you do it. And I will catch you guys on the next Dark Side. Next week, we will be back to a motorcycle topic, I assure you.